Hey, I want to show you a neat little trick where you can hide some items in your icon list depending on if they are populated. Now over here, I've got a loop grid with two posts, item one and item two. They're all showing four social sharing icons, but item one has a URL for all of them, but item two only has a URL for the Facebook. Let me explain and why we have a problem here. So if I go over to my advanced custom field setup for the field group, I've gone and created a custom post type and I've got four fields in here, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, URL. These are just basically URL fields, okay? And the idea is, is that is when you go and add in a new post, imagine that this is like a profile for people, staff members, whatever. And rather than using a repeater field, you've gone and created a field, you know, normally you'd have a repeater field called social, you know, URLs or whatever. And then people would go and add in their, you know, the name Facebook and put the URL in. And when you have a repeater field, you're kind of safe, you're okay. But if you haven't got a repeater field set up because you haven't got the pro version, you might have gone down this route. The problem is then that when you come to your front end and with an icon list like this, and if you go to the content, look, I've got these here. And each one of these has just the icon. I'm not going to pop in any text over there. I'm going to leave that blank. We've just got the icon. And over here for the link, each one of these is using the ACF URL field and it's pointing to the relevant field. So if we go down to Twitter, you know that this is going to be pointing to Twitter. The trouble is, though, is that this is now going to forever show you all of these items, even though item two has none of them. And you might think, well, surely it will only do it for the Facebook because item one has got a URL for all of them. Item two only has a URL in for Facebook. So I don't want to see Twitter, LinkedIn or YouTube. And just to prove it on preview, look, they're all there. And if I hover over these, can you see we get the finger? You go here, you get it over Facebook, but you go here, look, the finger is not there. So I don't want to see them. And here's the neat trick. Just make sure you're actually editing the loop grid. Go over to the icon list. To be honest, you could do this on the container as well. Scroll down to where you got custom CSS and drop this little bit of code in. If you want to go and give it a class name, go and do that. And all you got to do is hit update. And when I hit save and back now, can you see what's happened? By the way, if you don't fully see it like that, don't overly worry. Just go and check in preview. So look, item one, we still have all of those functional URLs coming through. You click it, it would take you over, open in a new tab, however you want to do it. Item two, look, there's nothing here. I can click all day long, but the Facebook one, because it is populated for item two, is okay. So if you're not using a repeater field and you're going to have loads of different fields, maybe within an icon list because you're showing different levels of information, this could be a great simple solution for you to hide items where there is no URL. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time.